What's up, guys? It's Cade. So, um, six stars are out. And that's old news. We've had the list for a couple days now. But uh, I want to take a couple days to kind of collect my thoughts on the whole thing because initially, uh, when I first put this out, uh, or when I first saw the list, uh, I was kind of bummed. Um, it, as I think a lot of the community was. But uh, after thinking about it a couple of days, I think, and I wanted to make, make a video kind of collecting my thoughts on um, the fact that it could have been a lot worse and the list really isn't as bad as all that. And I'll explain myself <laughs> in a second here. But first things first, uh, new setup. Um, it's a lot easier for me to set this up in the bedroom if you haven't been on the live streams. Um, this is a lot easier than, uh, than doing it out in the living room. Um, and because I've got my iPad here, my notes here, I'm probably not going to be looking at the ca camera too much. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the new setup. Okay, let's uh, jump right into it. So, first of all, when it comes to um, the list itself, the six-star champions, which are going to come out on the 31st of January, um, with uh, this is that's this Wednesday, a couple days, uh, along with uh, the 17.0 update, uh, are Storm, Karnak, Cap World War II, Juggernaut. Gamora, Yandu, Deadpool, X-Force, Kingpin, Red Hulk, Loki, Angela, Nebula, Cable, Winter Soldier, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, King Groot, Green Goblin, Beast, Daredevil Classic, Yellow Jacket, Thor Jane Foster, Black Bolt, and Rocket. Now, again, at first blush, it might seem like a pretty crappy list, and it certainly isn't amazing. But, first of all, compared to the five-star list, the first 24 five-stars that were rolled out in... Uh, a group uh, it was I think they rolled them out um, let me see six yeah they went six then oh no they went 12 to begin with then six then another six um, this is a pretty decent selection you've got champs like Angela who are labyrinth viable off the bat you've got champs like Nebula who are double immune You've got Cap World War II, who is a powerhouse, and anybody who'd never had their four-star at R5 may not realize just how good he is between the bleed and the crazy block proficiency. Um, can cover all manner of sins for beginner players. Um, you've got Luke Cage, who's getting a very promising buff. You've got Winter Soldier, who with the Killmonger synergy is going to be a mini Winter Soldier. Uh, and May, I'm very curious, at 455 or the equivalent, if he's going to be Labyrinth Fiable for Easy Path with, with that synergy. So... Just a ton of promise. Uh, Yandu, who's going to be a great defender, um, even without the dupe. Um, so initially, when you compare the two lists, because uh, here's the five-star list. It was Cap, um, Cap Marvel, Ronan, Storm, Cyclops, Jugs, Magic, Spidey, Rhino, OG Black Panther, Winter Soldier, Iron Man, Star-Lord, Drax, Magneto, Iron Fist, uh, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Iron Patriot, Superior Iron Man, uh, Colossus, um, 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 Guillotine, Yellow Jacket, um, Hulkbuster, and uh, Moon Knight. And this was not that long ago. This was January of 2017 that the last six of those initial 24 were released. Uh, I remember this list really well. In that list, you don't have a single Labyrinth Viable Champ uh, without the dupe, obviously, is what we're talking about. Um, Storm or Drax, you can make an argument for, but it'd be so expensive without the dupe, even at 455. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. Um, you don't have any double immunes in there. Um, no real great defenders, again, without the dupe. Um, unless you count, like, the old war system, uh, which they changed two weeks after, or something like that, after the last six came out here, uh, where you used to be able to use maybe a Hulkbuster or somebody beefy on a Thorns node. Um, but again, without the dupes, that's an abysmal list. Um, whereas here... It's not so bad. The other point I want to make and uh, that I want to add to this whole thing is the fact that when you look at rank up resources, right, the whole conversation of should I 455 this champ was based around the fact that it cost 12 T4B, 7 T4C, 16 T1A, and 4 T2A to get a 5 star to rank 4. So you couldn't waste those resources on champs that were kind of on the fence, right? Not too many 455s, 455 Yandus. There are some, probably, but not too many out there because, you know, people would rather save the T4C for Star-Lord or Sparky or whomever, right? So it's the conversation changes a lot when you look at the fact that the six stars at rank 1, 125, so all the way uh, max at rank 1, which costs nothing but gold and ISO, 
right, are the equivalent to those five stars at 455. So all of a sudden, should I rank up this champ, like maybe even suboptimal champs, maybe a kingpin for defense or something like that, the combo is very different when all you're having to spend is gold and ISO, right? A lot of beginner players would maybe pull, let's say, a Luke Cage and maybe they're not in a map five or a map six alliance and with his buff that's coming in a couple days um could have a champ that could really do a lot of damage and a lot of story questing uh, as a six star um by just investing the gold and the iso into them and i think that's huge and i think that's something that uh, initially i didn't really take into account um now when you look at uh five star rank fives you have to add two t5b to that you have to still count that 12 t4b because this is from getting a champ from zero to to rank five and i'm not counting all the tier three uh catalysts and stuff that you would need um 13 t4c total 22 t1a and 10 t2a so that's a ton whereas when you look at a um a six star this is the first rank up you'd have to use anything but golden iso on them for it's three t5b which is a little more expensive um 7T4B, 7T4C, and 7T2A. So overall, in every respect but the T5B, it's much cheaper than uh, a five-star at rank five. So I kind of wanted to, to put all those points on video because it's something that uh, that I thought about a bunch. And it's a reason I'll be rolling basics when they first come out. This is a pretty new account. I'm not quite to one um, six-star yet. Uh, it's We're 60 days in or 70 days in. But, um, but it... Um, it's one of those things where um, there's a lot of advantages to rolling them. I understand everybody who wants to save for features, and that's totally legitimate. But I think for a lot of those people that are on the fence, uh, it's a little more complicated than, oh, well, this list is kind of meh, and uh, I'm going to save everything. Because a beginner player, like I said, pulls someone like a Luke Cage or has a maybe gets lucky with a Killmonger and pulls a Winter Soldier, and they can immediately get them to that 455 kind of level. All of a sudden... A lot of options open up for them, right? So um, that's the thing. Or, of course, an Angela, who's just so powerful to begin with, um, even without the dupe. Well, <laughs> she really doesn't need the dupe or a cap world or two. Um, so it's a little more nuanced. But I want to know what you think. Um, were you? Are you still kind of bummed about the list? Did you kind of come around to it once you had a couple days? I love to, to read the comments, uh, whether you're on YouTube or you're seeing this on Reddit. Um, I'd love to uh, to talk to everybody and kind of see what uh, what everybody's saying because I think initially the community was pretty bummed uh, about it all when it first came out. Um, and I'm thinking that, that more and more people have come around as they uh, kind of had some time to process. Um, all right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that it was helpful. Uh, if you're liking the channel, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, make sure to... Uh, to hit that like button uh, it definitely helps definitely helps a lot uh, and let me know what you think i would love to uh, to continue the combo if you've never been to a live stream i do want to say that before we take off um, we stream every day at noon eastern and uh, we have a really good time so i'd love to see you on there um okay let me cut this because it just these start to get so long uh, but i hope you enjoyed uh, i look forward to hearing from you and i will see you in the uh, next video take care